So you have a RCA Roku TV and you have an issue where the TV is has a black screen or maybe it's flickering black screen um, if you're watching a regular TV channel or maybe if you're watching a show or a um, video or movie. Anyway, I'm going to give you guys four solutions to get you up and running right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and restart your TV using a special key combination on the remote. Okay, so watch very closely here. The special key combination is this. Home button is up here, okay? So you want to tap the home button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Hit the up button once. Rewind twice. Fast forward twice. We'll do it together. Ready? Home button here. Five times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Up once. Rewind twice. Fast forward twice. Okay, now this screen's going to have a um, mind of its own for a little bit. It's going to freeze on the screen. And what's ha going to happen from here is going to reboot the TV two times. After your TV is back up, go ahead and see if you have any black screen issues, okay? If you still do, then we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, so next possible solution, we're gonna do this. Turn your TV on, make sure it's on, and now go to wherever your um, TV is plugged into, the wall socket or whatnot. While the TV is on, I want you to go ahead and pull the plug, just like this. Wait like 30 seconds, after 30 seconds, you wanna go ahead and plug it back in, turn the TV back on, and then see if you have any black screen issues, all right? If you still do, we're gonna to go to the next step. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna try here is we're gonna reset your audio slash picture settings. Very simple. First thing is go ahead and click on the home button. And then from there, you wanna go down to your settings. So go to settings. And then from here, go ahead and move over to the right. Then you wanna go down to system right here move over to the right and now you want to go all the way down to advanced system settings right here move over to the right factory reset is highlighted now move over one more time and this is reset tv audio and picture settings it's only going to reset your audio and picture settings if you want to proceed from here what you need to do is press the pause play button three times one two three it'll go ahead and restart the uh, tv and it'll reset your picture and audio settings once your TV is booted back up, see if you, if you have any black screen issues. And if you still do, then the last step I have for you is to perform a factory reset. Now, there's two ways you can do a factory reset. You can do it from the settings here, or you can use a reset button on the back of the TV. I'll show you. To do it from the settings, you want to go on the same page right here. It says factory reset, but this time you want to, instead of going to the reset TV audio and picture settings, we want to go down one to where it says reset or factory reset everything. Remember, when you do a factory reset, you're gonna lose everything on the TV as if you bought it brand new and took it out of the box, and then you have to proceed with the setup, choose your language, uh, your region or country, your Wi-Fi password, and so on. So if you want to proceed, you have to move over to the right, and you should have a four-digit code that they give you down here. You can see mine is 6070. Pop whatever code they give you, you can then go down to OK and let it perform the factory reset. Now the thing is, if you're not able to go this way, maybe because your picture is totally black, so you have no idea what's going on, on the screen, look in the link below and I'll show you how to factory reset with the button on the back of the TV so you don't have to use the actual remote, okay? If this worked for you, uh, give me a thumbs up. If it didn't, give me a thumbs down. This should work for like 60% 60, 60 of you guys, okay? Good luck.